All right, how's it going everybody? I hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna be unboxing and uh, checking out a new fragrance by Empiria Fragrances. It was sent to me in a PR package, just got it today, so super excited to try it out uh, and do a review for them. Um, so this one is called Shango 6. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with uh, Imperia fragrances, they're sort of inspired um, by West African and African traditions and, uh, and religions. Um, so Shango is one of the Orishas. Uh, it's sort of like a spirit. It's one of the like powerful spirits. Uh, I believe it has like power. He pa has power over lightning and thunder, sort of like a, a Thor type of equivalent. So very powerful. Um, so I'm hoping the smell of it is, is powerful as well. Uh, so opening up the box, which is really nice by the way, um, it's probably one of the fanciest boxes I've gotten uh, as far as fragrances. Um, so on the inside, it also says Imperial Fragrances, so it says it kind of on both sides. There's a nice green, matte green on the inside. And then it comes with a nice little card that says uh, Shango 6 Eau de Parfum. So this is Eau de Parfum concentration. And then it tells you the scent profile. Uh, top notes of red apple and bamboo. Heart notes of cloves, African bird's eye pepper. And then base notes of amber and leather. So it says, oh yeah, there it is. Right, right, right. Like, like I was saying, it says inspired by the Orisha Shango, also referred to as Chango. This fragrance is freshness and strength combined. Spicy notes of cloves and chili pepper over a touch of bamboo mingling with a leather accord gives life in this bold fragrance. All right, sounds good to me. Let's check it out. Proof is in the pudding, guys. So here is the little package inside. Let's see. Ah, okay, okay. So this is sort of more of a traditional uh, packaging. So it comes in a nice box, but then inside that is the fragrance box. So this kind of is more of what you guys are more familiar with. Um, so it says Imperial Fragrances, Shango 6, Eau de Parfum. Uh, this is a 100 ml. Okay, and I'll, I'll throw a link in the uh, in the description for their website if you guys want to check them out. Um, and then it shows kind of just a golden embossed shape of Africa on the back because it is, uh, you know, inspired by African traditions. Okay, so let's open it up. See what we got. Nothing too crazy about the packaging. Oh, actually, wow. Uh, it's sort of a almost like a rubberized very nice slick like waxed sort of box wow i like that okay they they put a lot of effort into the packaging so that's very nice i was surprised i thought it was just it looks like a normal one but then you feel it it has a good feel to it almost rubberized okay so let's check it out let's see what we got wow so decent weight to it guys uh and it's a nice red I don't know if you can see through it. It's totally, uh, you know, translucent, almost that Baccarat Rouge 540 type of a colorway with a gold, a nice gold, and then, uh, and then a red see-through glass. And then on the front, there's a metallic sticker. Nice touch. A metallic sticker says Imperia Fragrances. It has their little logo, um, and then it says Shango Six, right there. So let's take the cap off, and uh, here it is. It's actually a very nice, heavy metallic cap, so it's pretty solid metal here, uh, and then plastic on the inside so that it doesn't mess up the, uh, the atomizer. So the atomizer itself is metal, and then the collar underneath it is metal. So a little bit of, uh, it has a little bit of twist here, so not, not my favorite atomizer, I will say. Um, but the rest of the presentation is very nice, very high quality. Uh, which I guess makes sense. I mean, it's niche, so I'd be kind of pissed off if it, if it wasn't, you know, you're ordering a niche fragrance, you know, maybe 160 bucks, 120 bucks or whatever it is. Uh, and, and it doesn't have a great presentation. So yeah, so very nice. Um, let's give it a spray. We'll see how well the atomizer works. It does have a little bit of spin to it too though, guys. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so it is sort of a nice pressurized atomizer. I don't know if you guys saw that last spray. I wanted to get a good one for you. Okay, so I can smell it from here. So it has decent projection, okay. It's surprisingly fresh. Wow, okay, so that must be the, yeah, the bamboo top notes. The bamboo reminds me of the bamboo accord in that Mont Blanc fragrance. Um, 
Yeah, that's really nice. I'm not sure if I get a whole lot of the red apple. It's just mostly a freshness. I get a little bit of the cloves and this, this African bird's eye pepper. So this sort of a chili type, chili pepper type thing. Maybe a little bit, but mostly bamboo. Hints of leather in the background. I'm talking hints. It's mostly a nice strong bamboo, and I know this is kind of the, in the top notes, but uh, I don't get a ton of amber. So I'll have to wait a little bit. I do get that nice dry but wet, uh, <laughs> dry but wet, uh, kind of a, a green woodiness for the bamboo accord. And it's, it's interesting because, you know, there's no bamboo essential oil, so it's, it's a concept. It's a conceptual, uh, they call it, you know, a, a uh, fantasy note because you can't just take an essential oil of bamboo, you have to create it. So they, they have this nice greenness to it, a freshness, and then sort of a wateriness to it. I would say this, I, I was thinking, you know, amber, leather, pepper, I was thinking this was going to be more of a, uh, a winter fall fragrance. I'm going to argue that this is more of a all around fragrance, not for, not for winter, but for mostly for spring. Okay. Okay. Maybe I get a little bit of the pepper, mostly spring, summer, and maybe fall. So totally not what I thought it was going to be. It's nice though. It is nice. I'm not getting a whole lot of that ambroxan, that usual stuff that you get from, uh, from most of the designer fragrances these days. So it is nice that it goes a little bit out of the way. But really, I'm just mostly, I'm getting that bamboo. Can I pick out red apple? Not so much. It's just a nice, fresh, watery bamboo with a little bit of spiciness, maybe a tiny bit of leather, Let's see how it works on, on skin, okay? I really like the atomizer though. I hated it at first because it has that little spin, but now it's like secured in or something, I don't know. See that spray? Golly. I'm used to the cheap, you know, you guys know me, I get cheaper fragrances, so I'm not used to having like a fancy spray, fancy atomizer, fancy presentation. It's nice, I treat myself. Okay, off of skin, now I'm getting more of the notes. I know it's different with the paper, but I like to, you guys know I like to spray it on the paper, but, but off of skin, it's a little different. I'm getting a little more of the notes. Because before, off of paper, it's just like bamboo, pretty much. It's good, but it's just bamboo. Now I'm getting leatheriness. Maybe I'm getting some of the clove, which is, as you know, it's eugenol. Maybe a tiny bit of the fruitiness, but <sighs> red apple, yeah. It's not a green apple. Okay, now that I back away a little, I think I was getting really close. I back away a little, I get more of the fruitiness of the apple. Yeah, overall, I would probably give this a solid eight to 8.5 out of 10. Um, I think the presentation is definitely at least a nine out of 10, maybe a 9.5 out of 10, because um, it really is a nice presentation. I love this bottle. I love the colorway of it. I love the, uh, yeah, the nice heaviness, the thick glass to it. So yeah, I would definitely recommend checking them out. Um, huge shout out to Imperia Fragrances for, uh, for hooking me up with this fragrance to review. Um, I'll, yeah, I'll throw a link in the, uh, in the description and remember to subscribe if you guys haven't already subscribed. It really helps the channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.